Hello, it is Mary and Mocha. Mocha is behind me getting water. That's probably what you hear. What this video is going to be about is talking about what you are looking at in front of me. So, before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video. With that being said, let's get into it. So, what this video is about is I made Zoomy a bigger enclosure for less the price than I was going to. So, right now, this is the enclosure I've got to have him in until we either get a bigger place so I can put him somewhere else or we don't live with roommates and the cage can't be out in the living room. So, basically what I did is, here's the floor and that's where his plants are. I have this one in the blue pot is a pothos. That one in the back is a umbrella, I believe. That over there is his favorite thing. And then I have a money tree in another pot that I'm hoping comes back to life. So this is the ground level. There is the humidifier I have and I use. Right now, it is 1 in the morning. I decided, since I'm up and I already had Zoomy up, to turn on the light and do a video of this. So, right at this point is, you could tell, these are two chameleon kit enclosures and then up here is Zoomy's original enclosure right now this cage stands about five feet tall a little higher than five feet it's not the width that I wanted but for now this enclosure will end do so like I said this is two kit enclosures put together and there is my T5 high output UVB, his heat emitter, and another T5 light. So I have him double T5. This right here is his food dish. The humidity pole goes all the way up and comes shoots down the bottom. If the lights were off, you probably could see the steam coming in. The poles in here, these poles right here are bamboo poles for plants. I got them from Amazon. Here is the label for these. They're 18 inches. The vines and everything I just got off of Amazon and from the pet store. I know this section right here is kind of empty. But I'm trying to figure out what to do. So this enclosure right here, the one... That says A all the way down to I down here. So this enclosure, I did clean it. This enclosure I got for free off of Amazon Marketplace. You can do this if you buy two of the kits. Because with the kits, you do get the vine. And you do get, I think it's a double one of these. So basically what I did is this section right here, I put where the screws are supposed to be, I put wire and wired them together. 
And then, of course, since it has all these holes, I used a hot glue gun and I glued the holes, as you can see right there. All these little hole spots is I hot glued it so if a bug falls down, it won't get out of the enclosure. And then I moved the base that was on this one to down here and then that is a large planter that you would sit your plants in so if it has too much water the water can get in that spot instead of on outside of the base I drilled holes in each end to put the wire in and stuck the wire through the mesh screens. So like I said, this section right here, I want to get some more of these vines and put them from here and put them all through this section. But at least he can climb the climate. Because what I realized is Zumi was climbing from the top to the bottom of this enclosure. What you could even do if you just want to use the kits, you probably could add another kit to both sides right here so you can bring it out a little bit further but as you can see he's staring at me like are you gonna let me go back to sleep you can see the steam right the mist coming down And then around the seams and where the holes of the screws are, I put hot glue in it so no little bugs can climb through it. This hot glue I did around the outside. In the inside, I didn't do nothing but tried to put a little hot glue in the holes all the hot glue that looks like it's on the inside is actually done on the outside and the way I have the pothos I'm hoping that it will start climbing the side of the enclosure But I wanted to show you my new Sumi enclosure. Like I said, I want to build him a 4 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot enclosure. 4 foot tall by 2 foot wide by 2 foot long. Where I really wanted to build him a 5 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot. But... Like I said, for this is the easiest thing right now I have him in for a taller enclosure. Even on mine, where I have the holes, I put super glue, hot glue so that the holes weren't so big. That plant right there got cleaned. That was part of their old plant. What's crazy is these people had dubio roaches in here. And I've never fed Zumi dubio roaches or any of my lizards dubio roaches. I believe he liked it because I had him try to find it. 
to eat it. But on that note, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ooh. Have a wonderful day or night whenever you watch this. Bye.